I don't know if I'm just being an absolute nit tonight. I'm gonna have to make a super tight fold here, guys. I think you probably just gotta fold. It's gonna be a tight ass and check back. I actually think I wanna fold here. We just have to fold now. Is our boy Crane? Should we give him the old, the old four bet? Oh my God, and we just flopped the absolute nut. Oh my God. We're gonna go super small here. He does call. What do we do now? I think we're just gonna jam here. I think we're just gonna jam. It's gonna be in a really tough spot with his over pairs. We double on block the, the flush draws. I'm just gonna go for it. He's not gonna be happy if he calls. Unless he has fours, of course. Pretty brutal here if he's got a, a, an overpair. Like, I think he has like jacks here, to be honest. Wow, he does find the fold. Just think we have way better hands to like fall and jam there. Yeah, I was never really thinking of falling if I'm honest. Oh, we're gonna three bet here. Very interesting flop here. I think in theory, we actually bomb this board. I could be completely wrong here. Could be losing my mind with this combination. Like all of his over pairs are like hating life here. And his one high card diamonds are hating life as well. Cause they have to pay such a high price to, to see a turn. And he just jams. Like this will be, he's obviously he's just gonna have the flush sometimes, but that's all right. Eights and nines. Um, this guy's that tight that he probably has jacks and maybe even queens with a diamond, which absolutely sucks. But if he's got like ace king with a diamond, ace queen with a diamond, we're, we're in all right shape. So I think we just got to call this one off guys. Yeah, this is exactly the hand I thought he would have. That's why we bet big on the flop to put him in a tough decision. And we're ahead, 70% equity here. Could avoid a king, a queen or a diamond. Oh. Not like that. And he just snap lets it go and an ace was coming on the flop anyways. Great card for us to continue barreling on. Oh my God, we binked the fucking straight on the river. I wish it was not a heart. Problem is when we over bet the turn, what's his, what's his calling range look like? Does he ever have queen 10? He absolutely does. I think I'm gonna check back here like an absolute net. Guys, how have I turned into such a filthy, filthy knit? Interesting flop here. I mean, what do we even do here? He has ace jack, ace queen, ace 10, pure. Might even have aces. I think we gotta go small. I'm not stoked about it. It's so sick, man. I actually think I want to fold here, guys. I don't know if I'm just being an absolute nit tonight, but like, what worse hand does he possibly have here? Like even like ace queen of spades that has like more equity or like ace five of spades that he floated. I don't know about that, guys. Uh, getting three bet here, a little bit deep stacked. So we're just going to be calling. It's top pair, top kicker, back door, nut, flush draw. We're ready to lose a stack here, guys. Now he goes for a half pot. I don't think we're doing anything but calling. <clears throat> I think we would have been bigger. Flop, flush draw, I'm not really sure. Uh, and he goes big here, uh, which is very interesting. He definitely has kings and aces. He's going to have ace king as well. And one of our backlights dies. We're going to go for the call. And that is basically the worst card in the deck because ace king now gets there. So even his bluffs get there. He shouldn't really want to jam kings and aces here now. <laughs> so sick. So sick. He just gets there with ace king runner runner. I just don't think he does this with aces and kings. Gonna have to make a super tight fold here, guys. Also has jacks. Ace king suited here. And we are mega deep with these two guys. 
<laughs> and we face a squeeze. This is this is not the spot you want to be in when you are this deep, guys. I'm tempted to call here, or I could raise and just hope that these guys fold. Because the problem is, if these guys, one of these guys jams now, it's just such a disgusting spot. I think you probably just got to fold because they're only jamming aces this deep. Oh my god. That's so sick. So, so grim. Like, obviously he can be doing this with, like, ace-king suited as well, but I just think we're just so far behind here so often. I know we do block some of it. He's never doing it with queens. Devastating. Let me know what you guys think about that spot there. I was also thinking about cold calling, but I just don't think we can there. There's probably some like good hands going on while the raid happened. And so all these people were flooding in and like, it's getting these extra likes and it probably blocked half the fucking footage. Although, did I maybe set it so that it doesn't capture that? Can't remember. Oh, we got a short stacker here. What the fuck's going on here, guys? Did we just run this? I just don't even know. I just don't know if he's opening only like really nutted hands. We'll find out pretty soon. Yeah, he does. It's just a mega short stack net. And we're dominated. Spade. Spade. Oh, no. Bed big here. With the top two pair. Definitely has some queen 10. Probably has all combinations of queen 10 off and queen 10 suited. If he raises here, I'm not very happy. Yeah, this is really gross, guys. This is really gross from this particular guy. We're basically praying for a king or a jack now. And if we don't, then I will, I will fold. I will fold the river. Could also be doing this with some like semi bluffs, I guess. What's he even gonna have though? Like jack 10 of clubs maybe? I think we do just have, well, obviously calling the top two, but card is kind of meaningless it it stops him having threes which is kind of good um, but i expect him just to jam his queen 10 here put it all in such a weird check man such a weird check a guy like this will have nines as well for the like the river nuts i think we just check because i don't think we get anything worse to call jack nine he maybe has king nine potentially here but yeah i'm just gonna be a tight ass and check back yeah, Queen 10. Ha ha. Get wrecked, bro. Get wrecked. So we, we saved ourselves maximum coin there, guys. I'm happy about that. Okay. Okay. We got cold callers everywhere. You get a green tag. You get a green tag. Everybody gets a green tag. But first, you get one of these. Oh, this is such a sick spot, guys. Look at this guy. Like, do I fold this? 14, playing 14, 11, 12. We squeeze here. The thing is we're supposed to be squeezing light when so many people do this. But then four bets. This is, this is kind of grim, guys. I don't know if that's a fold. This is probably just aces, isn't it? Ace queen off? Oh my God, hold. Hold one time. Hold one time with the run good. Not like this, not like this on the river. Holy mega moly. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Whew. Hell yeah. So this is typically a fold, but when we have position and um, we're getting such a good price on a three bet, we're gonna peel a flop here. And that is why. Now we're gonna actually bet here. We have a little bit more urgency when we unblock the, the draws on the board, so. We're going to go ahead and, and bet a half pot here. And it's going to be interesting to see. He's going to check a lot when he three bets out of position. And he's still going to have some strong aces. Interesting when he calls. I think we just need to start bombing this now, to be honest. Um, we definitely have some ace jack which would be really sick. But his calls are definitely gonna be strong aces. 
Obviously, any flush draws. Uh, that's a really bad river card. It's a really, really bad river card. I expect to see some donks here. He does check. It's it's really grim. We have to probably check this back. Just because... Although, does he bet his flushes? I don't know, guys. I'm just not sure here. I think I'm just going to make a tight check back here. Yeah, that's annoying. I, we do obviously win a pot there, so we're stoked. I thought, I honestly thought he had a hand like that. Like Ace King makes makes so much sense. Gonna be three betting. We get the four bet. I mean, it's kind of hard to get balled here by anything apart from Kings and Aces because we are deeper, but we're out of position. I'd probably want to do this with Ace Kings, so. Guess I just got a jam. Kings, let's go for a big pot. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Okay. Clubs, clubs are blocked. Just nine of spades. Nine of spades to finish it off. Oh yes, you love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. Big pot. Aces versus kings. Guys, we we deserve that. <laughs> I don't want to get greedy, but we did deserve that. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm gonna check back this. We're obviously, gonna check back sometimes when we've got an ace there. And once, it, once he's checked twice, we can bet. Interesting flop. I think checking is the only thing that we're gonna do here. He definitely has ace x. He does also have. Some like middling pairs that I guess we kind of beat those hands, right? Fives. <coughs> Fives and threes that he probably wants to call that term. And we're gonna check raise. I don't think we're gonna go mega big. Hit the flush. I think we're gonna go medium size. Him calling is very interesting. I think we just jam now. I don't know what he's possibly calling with. Probably a set. Just going all in. <laughs> flush over flush. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> we needed that one though. Might be even for the session now. Open. This guy three bets. He does call. Okay, so at least we get a squeeze. Yeah. Don't think we have that much showdown. We have all the ace queen here that would check back the flop. And uh, we get two calls here. Pretty safe flop here. Like, we're only losing to quads, basically. But we are mega fucking deep. What is this? What the shit is this, guys? This is dicey ass. I think we're gonna have to raise this. But obviously, we are mega, mega deep. So, don't really wanna be like doing anything without the nuts. And we just get the fold, thankfully. <laughs> I just wanted to get out of that hand as quickly as possible. Ooh, that's top. That's bottom two pair, guys. Uh, we're gonna be raising this one up. Could also call and raise the turn, maybe. Oh man, Th like this is this is really my life. This is honestly my life right here, in a nutshell. And we're just gonna jam here. And he bets big. It's really grim. Gonna call and then check fold river. Probably lose to like jacks now. So sick, man. So, so, so sick. Yeah, we just have to fold now. What if we could even fold turn? When he bets, when he bets big on a turn that like he should be doing a decent amount of checking on. I'll show you in a sec. Um, yeah, let's go for a three bet here. More blind. <laughs> Guys, this is the exact same scenario we were just in, except now the ranges are even worse because he's under the gun and we're in the small blind. I think I'm just gonna call here for the exact same reasons that we talked about before. His range is just so incredibly strong. I don't know, guys. Just give me Jack Deuce 4 Rainbow. Oh, fuck. I think we're gonna check Jam this flop now. It's gonna be a scary flop for him. Does it make sense to check jam? I'm not sure. 
Maybe a check raise. And he snap jams. All right. Oh, he has 8 7. He 4 bet 8 7 suited. Fucking hell, he did not even think. This guy's an absolute punter. You gotta think we, we get away with this one, guys. Jack 6 or 8. We've got to dodge. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. And so we take it down. So we'll take notes on him in a second. Unbelievably good for us. I think we're supposed to just belt this, but I'm just not sure. I'm gonna go for a half pot bet. Like it's such a dry board, it's it's just hard for him to like call with weaker hands. If we go any bigger than this. When he calls, I'm like already like not loving life. Now the 10 rolls off. I'm just gonna check here, I think. And over here with our top pair, we're gonna go for a value bet on the river. And we're just gonna check back the turn here. I mean river two pair, which is maybe good, maybe not good. He definitely has ace queen here. He probably had seven nine. Queen nine suited. Not really. And him leading out here is pretty grim. Just not sure. Would he call a flop with 10 jack? Not really. King queen? Maybe he has. I think we have to jam here. We lose to ace queen, but we beat king queen, king 10. Not sure. Yeah. Ah, that one hurt, guys. Yeah, there's probably just not enough people in this pool betting those... Those more marginal hands. Whoa, interesting flop here. Could raise this, but... I just don't see much benefit. Because we only get, like, continued with hands that are, like, way ahead of us. He goes big again. I mean... I just don't see the benefit in raising because if we get jammed on, we're hating life. He's not gonna fold his like, one, his ace of the clubs. And now we just check here and he d checks back his non-clubs, but obviously puts us in a very difficult spot when he bets big. Such a gross sizing here. I mean, I just think he has too many strong hands here. Folding a flush seems ridiculous, but when he's gone bet, bet, bet on a monotone board, I think this is just a tight fold. Uh, I'm gonna bet this. Uh, facing the four bet, the cold four bet is really grim. But in these positions, he's gonna be doing this with ace king, ace queen, like maybe even some fuck around hands. I wonder if we ever just have jams here. On a 95, this is maybe our best. This is, this is like a bit dicey, but I think we have to have some jams here and I guess we just hope he doesn't have an over pair. Question is whether or not people have enough four bet bluffs. Yeah, he just has queens. Fucking hell, man. Oh, oh my God. What a roller coaster. Oh God. So guys, this is a graph from the session. I think we, I think we might have gotten to some sticky spots early on, and just run into the nuts, and then we just refocused. And there was a a while there where I just felt like I was just on point, playing really solo. We we're winning all of our hands, and then yeah, as you can see, the last like five hundred hands have just been a steady grind of nothing. Obviously, we lost. This hand here, I think this is the tens hand with the flush. And then just this straight line for a couple of hundred hands. Nothing's been happening. What, one and a half buy-ins up? But we'll take it.